Hey everybody, Jochen Haydn here, and I'm back with the 9 December 1941 Turn 3 Combat Replay and Analysis. This is in my campaign versus Helsin. So what we are going to be watching for this turn is the continued retreat of ships from Singapore and all around Java, Dutch East Indies, and that's going to be the big thing this turn. So let's see what happens here. Okay, here we go. So, um, just in advance, I apologize if my voice sounds a little raspy today. I got a bit of a sore throat to take a COVID test, though, and it's negative. So, I just guess I have a sore throat. Ooh, we got lucky there. So, <clears throat> this AVP got um, hit by an I-122 torpedo that it did not detonate. Ah, oh, jeez. He's just going to cut us off here, guys. It's it's not going to be good. This PG is dead. Dang it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. He's he's down in our convoy lanes, and he's just going to pick off every ship that comes through here. What a shame. So, these two are now hit as well. I'm going to turn the sound up so you guys can hear what I'm hearing. Uh... All, all, all we can do is hope to run these guys out of ammo, I guess, right? Oh, man. He's just going to pick off every little ship. I hate that. I hate that he can do that on, on the 9th of December. Uh, so this is the ship that survived the torpedo attack earlier, but didn't survive this time. Yeah, this is this sucks. We're not gonna get anything out of here. All right, so these two tankers are also lost. Um, hopefully, he's running out of ammo at this point because, you know, we don't really have much anything here. Oh, here's another one. So these are lost as well. This is just bad, man. Come on. Give me a break here. No, I really needed these tankers, too. Wow, he's just picking us off as we come down. Yeah, that's, that's just not good. Oh, hey, wait. What? Oh, nice. Okay, so the S-39... One of the few subs that actually survived, um, that actually survived the Philippines because it wasn't in port. Looks like we got a torpedo into one of his APs. This, I think this is in deep water, so we should be okay. Alright, so let's... I don't think it's going to sink with one torpedo, but we'll listen. Nope, didn't. Alright, this tank is going to get picked off now by a... A, um, a sub operating on the surface. And it's it's going to sink. There it is. Almost nothing is going to survive in there. What a shame. Yep. That's going to put its way north of 100 ship kills. Already on three days in. What a mess. Oh, let's kill another ship, why don't we? So, this AKL is done. These are all dead. That's dead. And it sinks. 
Uh, nothing will survive here. Not a single ship that I sent out is going to make it out. Except for this guy. He made it out. You know why? They're probably out of ammo. Ah, dang it. Of course. Wouldn't that have been awesome if we could have put a torpedo into Miyoko right now? Dutch subs doing their best, though. So the Miyoko appears to be heading, I don't know which way, but we fired four torpedoes at it, and we miss. Mm, you see that? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, here we start in China today with some sweeps. One chow's getting bombed. He's just bombing some troops retreating right now. Okay. Ooh, we got one. Did you see that? We actually shot one down. That's amazing. This is small potatoes raids right now. I'm not used to that. I'm used to Lodric doing his death, death whatever he does, you know? I'm not used to these smaller raids. Alright, and these are unavoidable casualties. We have to retreat. A uh, bombing raid here in um, Johor Baru. He's targeting the, uh, the base we can't build... Um, you know, forts. Same, same with this. These troops that are north, uh, west of Canton always get beat up. Because they start in this crappy clear terrain and it's, they have to get out of there. Hmm. He's sweeping over, over that. I don't know why. This is actually a very big raid for a very small target here. He does a lot of casualty. Uh, destroyed squads are never good for us. This unit is just stuck here at the beginning of the campaign and has to try to get out. Another raid at Canton. And another. Alright, so this is us now. This is us bombing his ports. And we basically accomplished nothing. I'm sure he pulled his ships out already. Uh, oh well, we do hit some stuff, but it's, it's not going to cause any lasting damage. Another raid. And another. So that should be the AM phase. Now we should have the PM phase here. A lot of sightings on both sides here. Just 
limitless amounts of recon planes. Alright, so this unit is... Just, uh, it looks like this came in from Nanchang. A bunch of Sonyas. They don't carry a whole lot of uh, bombs, as you can see. And when you see the asterisk, that means they're bombing at extended range, which means they're using the extended range bomb load, which is typically a lot less than the standard one. Mm, great. Let's see how these P-26s can do. I doubt they'll be able to do much. That's all we've got. Come on, P-shooters. Well, we're doing something here. I don't know if we're going to stop this raid, but... We're, we're trying. We've definitely damaged... Um, a lot of Bettys. Nice. Wow. Okay, putting up a fight. They're doing what they can here. Nope, they're going to get through. Let's see what they do here. Well, it looks like the P, uh, the P shooters disrupted these guys pretty good here. To the point where they couldn't pull off their attack very well. They came in low, too. Look at that. Really low. Notice how he doesn't have torpedoes. Uh, he probably doesn't have a naval, um, I mean, an air HQ at Babel. So he had to bring bombs. Which is good for us, because I feel like they're not as good with bombs as they are with torpedoes. So we destroy one and damage five. I bet you a couple of these won't make it back. Okay, that's the end of the uh, PM phase. Oh, something sank. Did you hear that? I bet you it's that AP wit we hit with the torpedo. Oh, that's awesome. That's got to be it. Alright, so now he's softening us up at um, Hong Kong. He's not coming with a ton of stuff, but he's got a lot of guns. So these are the casualty reports from the... Um, Bombardment. This is probably not enough for him to take it yet. He's going to need to get reinforcements in here. He does have a lot of guns, though. So I guess that's it for... Um, that's it for ground combat. Obviously, at sea, I we lost a lot of ships. and Because he has full capability of running all the way down to Batavia if he wants to with his surface ships um, there's nothing we're going to be able to do to avoid that so one thing I noticed is that everything that went up the Strait of Malacca more or less survived and everything that went south towards uh, Java did not I sent stuff in both directions though because I needed to split the difference hmm Kwaite and Hyderabad I need to fix that These should not be new units. These are just units that I'm moving around. For the most part. A lot of units are moving around, if you haven't noticed. Oh! Wow, okay. I hit escape a little too fast there. We'll, we'll look at the intel now.
Okay, we're back with the uh, with my analysis, so we'll go ahead and start looking at the numbers. So aircraft losses this turn were actually a bit in our favor, which is nice to have any day like this where we do better than he does. So he lost three Sallies, two to Ops, one Flak, uh, three Bettys, two that we allegedly shot down plus one for Ops. These are the ones that hit Kagayan, and a number of other different types of aircraft. Um, we lost the PBY and the SBD too, uh, due to ops. Taking a look at the uh, top pilots, N nothing killed, nothing wounded. Look at that. We got a Philippines P-26 pilot getting it done. Good for him. Okay, looking at the Army loss points, not a lot of movement this turn. The... Um, he didn't really attack a whole lot of places, just in Hong Kong. So we didn't take a lot of points, losses there. Unfortunately for ship sunk, it was not so great. So looking at Allied ship sunk this last turn, here's the list. Now that's a lot of damage. So this guy sank in Manila, okay, the Otis. And almost the rest of these guys, with the exception of the Wulin, I'm sorry, the Yusang, were all destroyed at sea. Um, in the Dutch East Indies. And the ones that really hurt me the most are going to be these tankers, which I really needed. One of these was a really big tanker, too, the British judge. Uh, this is a big loss for me because I would have loved to have kept that alive, but I, I didn't see any other way. So we'll take a look at that. So looking here, this is where all the action went last turn. Okay, The ships that are being killed now are the ones that are fleeing out of Singapore. I sent some up the Strait of Malacca and I sent some south. And it does not appear that hardly anything that we sent south is going to survive. He's got what appears to be a cruiser task force here and another cruiser task force here. Now I don't know what their ammunition state is at this point because they've used so much ammo destroying what they've destroyed. They may be out and have to go back. And I'm kind of hoping that's the case because <clears throat> I spent the last couple turns Laying a pretty decent minefield at Merak. So if he tries to pursue us through here, he's going to hit these mines and it's going to really ruin his day. And I think he probably knows that. So I doubt that he's going to attempt to go much past here. So hopefully at the end of next turn, we clear through here and then that's the end of it. And we're, out, we're home free. These poor guys are just out there on their own, right? We'll see what happens to them, but I don't have a lot of faith that they're going to make it past these two uh, units here. Uh, however, we did get a lot of ships out, as you can see. Anything to me, the way I see it, if we're past Merak and we're past uh, Den Pasar, due to the minefields that we have in place here, we're probably home free. So I do have a lot of ships going into that Tajila Jap. Tajila Jap. And we're going to use this as a place to grab some fuel and bring it down to Australia because we really need fuel in Australia from turn well, ASAP. So I'm bringing as many ships as I can over to Tajilat Jap. We're going to load up with fuel and then relocate to Australia. Same over here in Serbia. Uh, so far, we've gotten quite a bit of ships out as far as combatants. All the Dutch light cruisers, the Marblehead, a lot of very good destroyers are out safe. The Vendetta. Somebody was asking me last turn about the Vendetta. It did survive. We got it out of Singapore safely. So we're going to look at the uh, getting this guy into dry dock right now. Getting it patched up. We'll do the same for Stronghold. Get these guys repaired and back into fight. Everything else looks pretty good. Okay, I guess we'll just start in China then and go down. There's nothing really going on in China now. We're just continuing our retreat. And everything seems to be going as expected. We haven't been enduring as many bombing raids this, this game as we did with Lodric. Uh, I don't know if that's going to change later on, if he's just moving stuff around, but I'll take it. Any break in the action is good for me. The only thing notable that I see here that might be a problem for me is this. I noticed this turn that these units are starting to move here. And when they get here, they're going to block off this whole retreat, retreat route. So then we're going to have to 
detour down this road, which is a very slow slog, because it's a minor road, right? So that means that we move about, about 15 miles a day on that road. So this unit here, um, I don't know if they're going to make it out. They're going to get here. He'll get there. He'll kill them. And then hopefully they retreat this way. We can continue on. But this is the only real thing in China that I see that's going to be a problem for me is, is this right here. Everything else is more or less okay. Um, we got across the river here. He's moving into Chang in Changchow, but that's fine because we will be uh, basically out of there next turn. Let me fix all this. We should be out of the next turn, hopefully. I hope anyway, <laughs> and then um, we'll be on the way. And then these guys in Loyang, or this is just the last of the Loyang guys. For whatever reason, they did not move. So we'll fix that right now. Set all to march. Good. They're already heading out. And then we'll be done with Loyang. So we need to make sure that we don't ha leave any supply in there that we need. This should evacuate when the, when the uh, troops evacuate. And then he can have Loyang. It's all yours, buddy. We've already started to set up our defensive position here. And we are getting everything set up down here. So everything's going according to plan in uh, China. One thing is that in Hong Kong, however, uh, he's well on his way to, to getting that locked down. He doesn't have enough troops to take it yet, but he will. So all we can do is continue to build up everything. Try to burn up the supply as much as we can. We don't have a lot of engineers to do it, though, so I think we'll stop building these and just focus on building the fort. It doesn't matter. He'll take it before we can get to level 4. Everything's really quiet in Burma. Everything's really quiet in the Bay of Bengal. We're just moving ships. That's what you see. A lot of ship movements right now. We're just relocating, uh, kind of getting things set up. One thing I'm doing this time that I didn't do before is I'm getting minesweepers in place ASAP south of Rangoon so I don't have to deal with um, uh, the mine laying stuff that Lodric did to me. So we're going to get some mine sweepers in place early on so we can keep getting supply into Rangoon for as long as possible. Um, there you go. See what he did? He blocked the road to Johor. That's standard ops now that I've seen. In both of my games against Japanese players, they moved to block that road uh, northwest of Johor, and that cuts the rail lines from north to south, which I already knew he was going to do, so I didn't even bother trying to rail stuff down this time around. There's no point. Because he's just going to do that anyway. So we're just going to deploy along these rail hexes and clog them all up. That's the only thing we can really do. The bulk of our troops made it into Johor. I fully expect them to get killed in the first turn. But that buys us a little bit of time here in Singapore to evacuate this 224 group. I have it moving out right now via aircraft because I want to use this in Burma. Everything else here is forsaken and, and dead. This was the big action last turn where he had these two cruiser task forces just going up and down here and destroying everything in sight. I don't know what I could have done to prevent it, but uh, these are just losses that I had to take. I did spot this. Okay. It's a, looks like a cruiser task force again, maybe with something else in it as well. He's heading east, which is this direction. He's probably heading in here to try to finish off what he can, maybe even do a bombardment at Kagayan. I'm not entirely sure what. But I have some time, so I'm going to take this opportunity to move these destroyers from Hong Kong and the Houston over to Terracan. And we're going to disband there, refuel, and continue leapfrogging down eventually to get to Surabaya. I think this is our break because if you look here, this is the convoy that we attacked with this sub right here, the K-14. Oh, I'm sorry, the K-16. This is the one that we attacked at Babel. He's clearly going back to rearm. This one here is moving east, so we have a little bit of time in the celibacy to get stuff out. So I'm going to take this opportunity to move it while I can. Maybe also some ships from uh, the Philippines when I get a chance. We got a lone sub still sitting in here. Um, it may be worthwhile for me to relocate this guy. You know what? Let's try something.
Let's relocate this to Paton and do a little bit of repairs. Because my guess is that he won't expect he won't do a port strike at Paton because there's there's nothing in the port, right? So we'll move the sub over there and try to get a little bit of repair on it. And then once we get the flotation damage below 50, we should be able to sail it south and get it clear of the action. So it'd be really cool if we can actually save one sub, right? What a moral victory to say that, hey, we got one sub out of Manila when they should have all been destroyed. That's kind of cool. <sighs> yeah, so that's really all the action for this turn. It was all more or less concentrated here. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that uh, the S-39 fired two torpedoes and an AP in this area here. And we, we hit it, and I think we sank it because I heard a sinking sound. Uh, during the turn, and normally when you have a sinking sound that's not associated with the message, that implies that it's the uh, the enemy ship that sank. So that's the only ship that I know of that we hit last turn. So that's pretty cool that we actually got an AP in the books. Now, the intel report isn't going to tell you that because the Japanese aren't going to let us know anything. For one, I know for a fact we haven't really hurt anything. And two, they're not going to tell us two months later. But I think we know that we sank it. Briefly, we can take a look at the SIGINT. Let's see here. Heavy volume of radio transmissions at Camran Bay. So that lets us know that he's got air ships in port and aircraft at the field, and as well as inf as infantry units here. So that, to me, tells me that I need to get some subs down here. So hopefully, pick off some convoys. I, these guys are going up to Haiphong, but I think I'm going to leave them. Actually, I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to keep it in Ocean Deep, OD, so that we have a better chance of surviving a depth charge attack. Um, but yeah, for what subs I do have, I'm getting them in action and trying to do what I can to keep them to keep them going here. All right, I think that's it now. So. I'm, there may be a lot of questions unanswered here, so if you have a question about what's going on right now, please ask me in the comments or over on Discord, and I'll give you more information. Uh, I did see someone mention on my Discord today that they say that I don't give as much information out on my videos as like Lodric and Helson do. Um, I'm trying to maintain a little bit of OPSEC here, so I don't talk about a lot of stuff here because while I'm certain that Lodric and Helsin are not watching my videos because they told me they won't and I trust them. I don't know who else is. So I I, I do want to be a little bit tight-lipped about some things just to maintain a modicum of OPSEC. But uh, in my Discord, I feel a little more comfortable in my private allied channel talking about things more specifically. But people will ask me, like, hey, what ships do you have here? Uh, is this ship damaged? Where is this going? And I'll screenshot my game and I'll put it in there. I just feel a little safer doing that. So if you would like some of that behind-the-scenes information, Come on over, because Helsin and Lodric will do the same thing for you over there. They also maintain um, secret channels in my Discord. So if you want some behind-the-scenes look, come over there, and I'll tell you more. Uh, all that's left to say here is thank you so much for supporting me and Helsin in this campaign. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.